Welcome back to Ferris Eyes ST News. My name is Aiden Hunter and I'm your host. We have a lot of news to cover, so let's go to Jalen to talk about star testing. Thanks, Aiden. This Tuesday, star testing for seventh graders begins. Then next week, we have science and social studies on Thursday and Friday, as well as the algebra EOC next Tuesday. During this week, we will have an algebra boot camp with the eighth grade math team. Be sure to have your child get plenty of rest and to have a good breakfast on the morning of reviews and tests. Just some specific reminders. If you wear a stopwatch to school, please leave it at home. All you need on the day of start is your school issued Chromebook and a water bottle and snacks. Only bring your phone if it's absolutely necessary. If you do then, you must turn it in Turn it completely off when you enter the building. And you have to turn it in to the teacher you are testing with. No visitors will be allowed on campus and you won't be able to check your child out early. Another note, on May 14, 2021, Ferris Junior High will be having their field day. This will be an opportunity for students to play sports, games, as well as sing karaoke. You will also have a concession stand and a Kona ice truck on those days, so don't forget to bring money. On May 20th, our last day of school, the Swarm will be sponsoring the end of the year tournament. It will be from 9 to 10. Afterwards, we will have outdoor time for students to basically chill since it will be the end of the year. We will not all only have cornhole, but music and a Kona ice truck that day as well. If you'd like to participate in the game, email Raymond Munoz at munoz01ferrisisd.org. Also, your Ferris ISD school Gmail, and he can see if you can fit it on the roster. Now, back to Aiden in the studio for a star prep talk. Thanks, Jalen. Now, I want all of you to know that this is simply a piece of paper. It's not a defining moment. All that is here is to see if you grew this year. And I know that all of our students have a fire inside them. And it is lit by things they do and things that they are passionate about. Whether it's dance, theater, public speaking, politics, science, or even coding. That's what makes you who you are. And this won't change any of that. If you start to stress or worry during this, think about those things that make you who you are. And remember that when it's rated by the state, they see a number and a name. Nothing else. So don't worry. Don't stress and do your best. Now, in politics, the Texas State Senate is close to carrying a constitutional carry law. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that you don't have to have a gun permit to, or a handgun permit to carry it around with you. Now, it passed in the Texas House even after the previous three speakers were opposed to it, all three who were members of the GOP. Now, when it hit the Texas Senate chamber, it's still in committee right now, but the lieutenant governor, who's head of the Senate, told the Texas Tribune that he believed that it wouldn't be passed. Now, it takes 18 votes to get it passed. Well, there are 18 Republican senators in the chamber itself. Now, if you're asking, okay, well, if there are 18 Republicans in the chamber, then why wouldn't they sign a bill that their party legislated? Well, that's because of the shootings that have been happening lately. So we've noticed that there have been a lot of devastating mass shootings over the past few weeks. So many now GOP senators from in the Texas State Senate are hesitant to signing, especially a lot of those senators who are in those easily flipped um, districts. So this is going to be a changing issue. If it gets passed, it would make Texas one of the, uh, I believe it's 18, 19, somewhere in that number, states that allow constitutional carry. But the main argument for the Republicans is that the Second Amendment states that you don't need a permit to carry. It gives you the automatic right to bear arms. Now, of course, this is banned, especially if you want a convicted felon or if you have any restrictions against you by the United States government or the state of Texas. But it, both sides of the argument are very strong, so it's going to be interesting to see where this goes. So thank you for tuning in to this episode of Ferris ISD News. My name is Aiden Hunter, telling you to stay informed and keep on learning. Bye, Candidos, mi amigos.
Now, if you stayed along for this you know, little extra bleeper in our credits, there's something that I wanted to say. It's that star pep talk that was featured in this week's episode. It was very similar to one that I was given by my third grade teacher because in the state of Texas, third grade is when you start taking the star. And what she had said to us had stuck with me for so long because it proved that a test does not define you. Numbers don't define you. The only thing that defines you are the actions and words that you say and the impact you make on people. And I think that that's important for all of us to learn. The fact that we're all human, yet humans cannot be measured by paper. So thank you. Tune in next week. See some more news.